The Grand Rapids Art Museum is unveiling its little treasure. Yeah, a new exhibit later this month. An extraordinary legacy, the Minor S and Marianne Keller collection. It opens May 17th. Now we have a, a picture of this. It's just a snapshot really of the okay. display. This is just a little tiny bit of it because the exhibit features 65 pieces wow. of modern and contemporary art. All the way from paintings, prints, to sculptures. Now the killers were central and bringing art to the Grand Rapids area. I mean, they, they helped bring the Alexander Calder sculpture, the Grand Fetes. They, they were a big part of that, I bringing didn't it know to that. the city nice. back in 1969. So it makes sense that they'd be on this as well. Among other art installations in the city, they are really involved. Hey, the exhibit will be on display through early October. You can visit the museum's website for hours and admission fees. Very cool. Well, the Asian Pacific, Asian Pacific Festival, excuse me, is returning to downtown Grand Rapids this summer. It's the sixth annual cultural heritage event. Uh, runs for two days, starting June 11th. Now, the festival features a number of musical acts and cultural performances, different types of beer and food, of course, to try out, along with plenty of activities for the whole family. That's always a good time. We've been yeah. to that a couple of times. Yep. Hey, tonight, community partners are going to unveil designs for this. It's a new community hub coming to Boston Square in Grand Rapids. Now, this event is a chance for you to kind of give your thoughts and feedback on the design. There will be food, there will be some fun, local food trucks, music, and more. It all starts at 530 at Old Revolution Church. Now, construction on this community hub is set to begin this fall. It looks beautiful. Ah, uh, say goodbye. It's a sign of the times. Bye-bye, iPods. The device that helped Apple change the entire music industry is soon going to become a distant memory. Just yesterday, the tech giant announced they are officially discontinuing the iPod. I had one just like that. I had a little one with no screen, even. Yeah, the, did you have the clip one? Yeah. It was like a little, little square, yes, like a postage stamp. Forward, back, and that's it. And, I, and we were blown away. Like, this little postage stamp could yeah, hold so how cool. many songs. The digital music player was, by the way, first introduced back in 2001. It started to lose popularity as smartphones you know, mm -hmm. took over as the main source for listening to music and podcasts on the go. Now Apple says the newest iPod Touch will be the final iteration of the device. Who knows? Could be a collector's item. I think everyone has an old one in a drawer that I, I, doesn't I may, work somewhere. I have like two or three <laughs> right, same, same. in a drawer somewhere. Have you got the little bubble stick, the this one, and the, the bigger one, one, the really yeah. fat one. I got the rectangular one, I got the fat one, I got the, the clip one. Yep, yes, I got, yes. Don't use any of them. No, yep. me either. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, uh, saying no to delicious but unhealthy food can be a challenge. Yeah. Welcome to my life, everyone's life. Uh, but not today. That's because it's National Eat Whatever You Want Day. What? Yeah. It's a day to indulge a little without feeling guilt or regret. So to celebrate, go ahead, treat yourself to the favorite dessert or snack. Ice and cream. It, I've been doing that for about a month. <laughs> so It's National Eat Whatever You Want Month for Gan. It That's is. And the summer season is quickly around the corner. <laughs> Love it. Yikes. <laughs>